Think through the mess of Hurricane Matthew. It is really uh, has a number of people exhausted, injured, and now some people are getting sick yeah. as a result of this as well. So Crystal Chen is taking a look at what is going around. Crystal. I know, hey, good from morning. The so illness. the message was definitely clear this week from doctors all over our local area. More injuries have been reported as storm cleanup has left a lot of people battered and bruised. Now in Duval County at the care spot on the south side, the staff wants to make sure that you have protective gear when you're working outside. Use waterproof gloves and footwear and try to keep your head covered with a hat as well as wearing long sleeves as, as well. That can also help prevent um, some injuries as well as bug bites. Do not leave your skin exposed. Now, when I check with our sick weather map, it looks like a lot of people with the drop in temperatures over up towards Mayport, Neptune Beach, up towards the north side, and even out towards the west side. A lot of people have been um, out sick with a cold. Over towards... Um, this is out towards Firestone Road, out towards uh, Hyde Park. We also do have two people reporting pneumonia. And then down towards Orange Park, seeing that two people down there also do have a stomach virus. Now in Clay County at the care spot in Middleburg, they're keeping a close eye on sore throats. In St. John's County at the Healing Arts Urgent Care in St. Augustine, Bug bites have been a major problem for more people being out cleaning out all that debris. Spider bites, bee stings, mosquito bites, the list really does go on. Doctors say make sure you shower immediately after cleaning to avoid skin infections. Back pain and strain also going around. And in Nassau County at the care spot in Yulee, the doctors say they've been busy with sinus infections, strep throat, and now that it's the beginning of flu season, flu shots are also back. And that's what's going around. We'll